Oh, hey, it's your favorite cornball. Well, maybe least favorite cornball. And I'm here in Kansas to learn a little bit about the tactical games. I got in contact with Jacob Hepner, and he was a national champion of the tactical games. So I figured who better to learn from than somebody like that. So we happen to reach out to Atlas Gunworks because we happen to carry their magazines now in case you didn't know, gunmywarehouse.com. And he's on Team Atlas. So we're gonna do a little training. He's gonna kind of give us a holistic idea with some of the basics of what it takes, what you need and what to expect from the tactical games. So without further ado, let's go. So, tactical games, TTG. I'll abbreviate from here on out like that. It's gonna be 50% fitness and 50% shooting, okay? It's a good even, well I can't, I can't write. It's gonna be a good even split. Now, every stage, we have essentially every competition is two or three days. Three days is nationals, two days is every other competition. So we'll say it's two days, okay? okay. So they're usually two days. And across the full two days, it is 50% fitness and 50% shooting. Now, every stage isn't split this way. So we might have a stage that's only fitness or a stage that's only, like a two gun stage, it's only shooting, right? But across the whole weekend, if you look at the whole weekend, it's 50% across the whole thing for the points wise, okay? So how do we do that? How the tactical games works is we are essentially trying to tax our nervous system, cardiovascular system, make you breathe heavy essentially, and just see how well you can shoot when you breathe heavy. What does your accuracy look like? Does it degrade? It's going to, but by how much at your heart rate level. So what do your targets look like? Um, your targets are usually on, they're you know, like 18 by 20 inch pieces of paper, and your targets are printed on them, okay? So let's say for instance, it's like a three and a half inch circle. Let's say it's three, three and a half inch circles to ease of convenience. Okay, they're, they're, these are black lines and it's white. This is white. This whole thing's white except for the black lines, okay? So, when you show up to your first firing sequence, what they're looking for is, hey, Jeremy, we are looking for, and they say this is your rifle target and your pistol target, make it easy, okay? They're looking for nine holes in that circle. And they're looking for nine holes in this circle and nine holes in that circle. That's all we're looking for. I don't care if you get the line for your rifle and decide to shoot this circle first, that circle first, this one, or do three, three, and three. I don't give a crap. Or Best case scenario, from a gamesmanship perspective, let's say you get up there, okay? You fire, because the first round's always the hardest, right? You're like, I don't know where I'm aiming. You shoot your first round and you yank it, right? And your, your point of aim is here, but your point of impact is down here. Still freaking counts. Just now know to replace that round back up top. Does that make sense? So they're only looking for nine. So we're looking for nine in each circle for both the rifle and the pistol. So you're gonna go pull your targets, probably take a picture with your camera just in case. Take it to a scoring table that'll be over here. That's a nice house and you'll give them your targets and they'll count it for you and they'll say, okay, Jeremy, looks like, you know, you only got seven here, you got nine there, and you got six here because you got tired near the end, right? So we drop, you know, there are the missed shots, right? So it is ten, a 10 second penalty for each miss, okay? So total you drop five, that's 50 seconds. So your raw time was 10, your total time now is 1050. So let's say for instance, you're competing next to someone else. Let's say it's Brian, right? And Brian loves to just mag dump because he just wants to win the fitness. Because again, it's not always the first person that finishes the workout that wins the workout, right? Sure. So Brian gets up there, freaking just hammers those sandbag, runs it, and just okay. He gets done. He gets done in freaking eight minutes and forty seconds. And he just completely smoked you on raw time. But then we look at his target, and it looks like freaking Swiss cheese, right? And he'll say he drops, you know. Uh, Let's say he drops 20 shots just out of curiosity, okay? Well, now he's got 200 seconds worth of penalties. So if you add 200 seconds of that, you're obviously gonna win overall, right? So 200 seconds of that would be 20, 60, 80, uh, plus another 120, two minutes. It'd be like, it'd be like 11, 11 or 12 minutes. I don't even know, some, something like that. So that's a really simplistic workout. Um, we're gonna take different, we're gonna do different variations of it today. Um, most of the stages we run, we shoot both pistol and rifle. Your goal, and today, we'll, we'll talk about as we do workouts, this is, I'll say your goal for the day is 80%, right? Your goal should be, I am gonna move at 80% capacity, or RPE, and I'm gonna shoot at 80%. Meaning, um, 
If we're shooting a total of 40 rounds here, I want you to hit 80%, 80% accuracy. All right, you ready, Freddy? Yes, sir. Last one of the day. Three, two, one. Yikes. That was probably... It's a pump sesh. <laughs> That's probably the best example of like Army degradation yeah. of ability. Yep. Because... That's, yeah. what it looks, that's what it looks like pretty much. Like the bike is like one thing where it's like, especially heart rate, but it's like I can continue to do this. Yeah. But this is like a, it's your CNS, right? So there's so much you have and it's like, okay, because we're not sprinting on the bike. But it's like, oh, even though you have 20 seconds of rest in the first couple rounds, you're like, oh, this is going to be easy. I'm like, dude, this is going to get, I mean, it's going to get tough. Get we finished, we finished with two seconds left in the round. So we probably wouldn't have made it very many more rounds. All right, let's go, uh, let's go take a look. I'm going to get my phone so I can use a calculator for percentage work so I don't get my percentages wrong. <laughs> uh, reap what we sowed here. See what, we, see what we got. I'm super looking forward. All right, so again, <laughs> Jeremy shooting. Uh, he's doing three sandbag over yoke at 80 pounds, 52 inches, and then four rifle shots at 35 yards on a three and a half inch circle. Um, so we're gonna go, so we're looking for 20 total rounds per circle, and I will get you percentages for I missing. Right now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so See, look at the target, and which target do you think is the first five minutes, which target do you think is the second five minutes? <laughs> oh my God. I was telling that's you. That's okay, that's okay, it's dude. It's literally like, Everything looks right. Pull the trigger. Yeah. I'm like, that wasn't yeah, in get... the circle. Okay, so loop 20. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight in the first one, so. Ugh. Killer. I mean, it's gonna be like 40%. I'm not even gonna do it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the last one, which is okay. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so a little bit less. Now, the, <clears throat> the good thing about this is, we only dropped two more here, and you were way more tired. You had quite a bit less rest, right? Because this one you had 20 rounds, 20 seconds every round to rest. Yeah. This one was closer to 10, right? So it still shows. And honestly, like if you look at, you have a decent grouping here. Yeah. Just obviously outside the circle. So you are probably just like, <sighs> and then you're just yanking at the wrong time. Yep. It was like a figure eight, and then every time I'd like get it to be sort of stable, I'd have to hold my breath. And, and it's then like, oh. and the next one's going to be shafted because yeah. you're holding your breath. Exactly. <laughs> Now let's see what a national champion yeah. looks like from further away. I poked these. I, I poked these targets uh, before I came out here, so you didn't see the targets before. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, drop five in the first one, and then the second one we got is worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Actually, not that bad. Right? Yeah, right. Yep. yeah, 17. So 15, 17, so drop the total of eight out of 40 at 50 yards. Pretty dang good. Yeah, pretty dang good. All good and a solid day's work. What did we oh, learn yeah. today? Did you have fun? Yeah, absolutely I did. Yes, um, I feel like I, I don't have enough experience to be able to gauge 80%, yeah. right? But, so when I'm going out here, it's- Yeah, it's 100%. Basically all I got. Yeah. Um, but I, I totally understand the concept behind like, I'm sure I could have done that faster, the uh, the over yoke deal, but I was trying to keep my heart rate down and like think also, about shooting. This is the yeah. first time you touch a sandbag. Yes, it is the first time so. I touched a sandbag. <laughs> You're learning as you go. You just right. did, you did 30, 30 sandbag cleans more than you've done in your whole life. True, yes. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. It was a solid job, dude. Cardio, uh, run on a bike, not a big fan. Sandbag but, was fun. But lift heavy rock over pole. I like that. Now that we're gonna, one, what are we going to do now? <laughs> we're going to go eat. We need some barbecue. <laughs> Tomorrow we're doing that podcast. Because uh, Texas barbecue sucks. Oof. <laughs> well, I'm from Kansas City, so okay, I will agree. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. There's a lot more that we didn't cover, a lot of nuances that you can't really fit into a small YouTube video. Is that fair? Yeah, so we have a lot of stuff we didn't even talk about. Hey, how do we shoot supported rifle from port positions? Like, it's a lot of tactical game shooting. We didn't even discuss that at all. Didn't really work. We had a, we only did two workouts of the three that we wanted to do, but it's getting, we're losing daylight. Yeah. We've done a lot of fitness today. Haven't yeah, we? yeah. We started with a workout for your channel, so go check out that as well. Uh, I didn't puke. I was. I was, I was very certain I was going to, but somehow I was able to like bury that down. So that's good. I'd say that's overall good. I was hoping to sign the wall to be the first guy to puke, but that's all right. Maybe, maybe next time. <laughs> Otherwise, I hope you guys got a good amount of information from this. If you want to know anything else, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Maybe we'll do some more videos in the future. If you made it this far, you're one of the best. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for shopping with Gun Mag Warehouse. Stay free.